Welcome to Renewable Energy Investments. Well, look what we have here. As I predicted in my Tesla video from May 2020, Tesla is now entering the solar inverter business. In this video, we're going to take a high level look at what Tesla might be up to with its new inverter and how this could affect Enphase and Solar Edge. First, we'll compare the Tesla inverter to other inverters on the market and discuss what the Tesla inverter means for Tesla's sales and profitability. Second, and most importantly, I'll share my thoughts on why releasing its own inverter could be a sneaky big deal for Tesla. I'll speculate on why this inverter may be a key for Tesla achieving its end game. Third, I'll cover how Tesla entering the solar inverter market could impact other leading inverter manufacturers like Enphase and Solar Edge, and what I'll be doing with my investment portfolio because of this. But real quick, I just wanted to make sure everyone saw this other great Tesla news. Tesla is renewing its partnership with Dalhousie University's lab for a second five-year term, with preeminent lithium-ion battery specialist Jeff Don still at the helm. And as always, quick reminder to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out this channel immensely in the algorithm, and I really appreciate it. Comparing the big three inverters and Tesla's profitability. Okay, so in the past, Tesla has used third-party inverters. One of the most common inverters used with Tesla's solar panels has been the Solar Edge HD Wave Inverter, which is pretty much the best string inverter on the market. Enphase is renowned for having the best micro-inverters on the market. Below is a chart comparing the specs of these three inverters. So Tesla is a bit behind Solar Edge when it comes to two key metrics inverter efficiency, and panel monitoring. Tesla's CEC efficiency is only 97.5%, while Solar Edge's operates at 99%. Tesla's inverter only has string level monitoring, while Solar Edge's inverter is capable of monitoring each solar panel individually. While this is not ideal, the Tesla inverter should still sell plenty fine especially when Tesla bundles its inverters with its solar panels and power walls into one very attractively priced package. Tesla is known for its excellent engineering, specifically designed for mass production with a relentless focus on driving down costs. If Tesla can drive down the costs of producing its inverters and essentially cut out the markup that companies like Solar Edge and Enphase previously received, Tesla's low-cost full suite of home energy products just became even more affordable. And all of this looks to be coming together at the perfect time. I expect demand to be at an all-time high thanks to increased solar incentives we are likely to see from the Biden administration. Add in Tesla's new 4680 cells, which should free up battery capacity for more power walls, and the fact that Tesla's solar roof looks poised for a strong 2021, and needless to say, Tesla Energy is setting up for an amazing decade of growth. But I wouldn't get too excited about additional profits from the sale of a Tesla inverter. I simply don't think that is the main point of this product. Instead, I suspect Tesla may be up to something a little bit bigger. Before we get into why the Tesla inverter is such a big deal, here's a quick clip from my May 2020 video where I predicted Tesla will enter the inverter business. Companies. Tesla's current lineup of energy products has a missing link, the solar inverter. Solar panels generate power and battery store power in the form of a direct current or a DC current. But household appliances and the utility grid all run on alternating current or AC electricity. Accordingly, a device called an inverter is required to convert the DC electricity from the solar panels into a grid and appliance-friendly AC current. Companies like Solar Edge and Enphase, who are making state-of-the-art smart inverters and microinverters, provide the inverters needed to make Tesla's virtual power plant work and work efficiently. This leads me to speculate. Could Tesla be developing its own inverter? Essentially, 
The inverter was the only missing link in Tesla's complete control of a home's energy system. By connecting the dots, it became obvious that Tesla would inevitably enter the inverter market. Why the Tesla inverter is a big deal. Tesla's endgame. One of the most impressive parts of Tesla's business is the sheer number of products they produce in-house. From its own self-driving silicon chip, to the giant casting machines, to its own batteries, Tesla seemingly does it all. The thing is, Tesla is not trying to go out of its way to do everything in-house. It's simply that what Tesla wants either doesn't exist or isn't up to par. So Tesla is forced to make it themselves. So perhaps the solar inverters on the market today simply aren't delivering what Tesla needs. It's no secret. On a community-wide macro level, what Tesla really wants is to create virtual power plants. This is the end game. And to optimize the virtual power plants on an intra-home micro level, Tesla may be setting its sight on creating smart home energy management systems capable of optimizing any single home's energy flow. From a high level, virtual power plants will consist of both hardware and software. The hardware needed, of course, is the solar panels, batteries, and inverters. Then, you layer software on top of that hardware that can speak to the household appliances, batteries, neighboring households, and the grid all directed by artificial intelligence systems to optimize the flow of energy between these parts. What's interesting is that the inverter may play an especially critical role in the virtual power plant because it is the first destination for electrons after they leave the solar panel. This means the inverter is located at the perfect choke point to collect data about how much electricity the solar panels generate at any given time and under any given weather conditions. Collecting and understanding this data is very important for the artificial intelligence system that uses algorithms to optimize the flow of energy. This also makes the inverter the first potential decision point from which the artificial intelligence can theoretically direct electrons. Working in tandem, the AI and the inverter can decide where to send the electrons. Maybe it sends them directly to power certain household appliances. Maybe it sends them to the hot water heater to create and store thermal energy. Maybe it sends electrons directly to the grid. Or maybe the inverter decides not to invert the DC current to AC after all, and instead lets the DC current flow directly to a DC coupled battery, avoiding an unnecessary energy loss by eliminating excess conversions. This would all be made possible by controlling the first choke point in the flow of energy, the inverter, which is perfectly positioned in the path of electrons to be the base from which the artificial intelligence controls the flow of energy. Owning this key bit of hardware is the real reason why I believe Tesla entered the inverter business. Tesla's solar inverter completes Tesla's home solar system converting DC power from solar to AC power for home consumption. Once installed, homeowners use the Tesla app to manage their solar system and monitor energy consumption, resulting in a truly unique ecosystem experience. Key Features Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and cellular connectivity with over-the-air updates. Designed to integrate with Tesla Powerwall and Tesla App. Unique to Tesla's inverter are over-the-air updates. In the same way that Tesla provides software updates to its electric vehicles over Wi-Fi, or that apps on your phone periodically update via Wi-Fi, the company plans to similarly provide over-the-air updates to its inverters, updating the software of the inverter with any future updates on the fly. In order to achieve this, the battery has both a Wi-Fi Ethernet connection as well as 4G LTE connectivity. Let's just say these over-the-air updates could become very significant as Tesla expands into smart home energy management and virtual power plants. The virtual power plant opportunity is absolutely massive. I have no doubt that Tesla is going to put a tremendous amount of hardware and software engineering 
into this puzzle. The inverter is another fantastic display of Tesla's vertical integration, which is the name of the game. What this means for Enphase and Solar Edge. Before I dive into my views on how this affects Solar Edge and Enphase, quick reminder to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. It takes a ton of research and original thinking to create this type of content, and any support is much appreciated. Okay, back to it. So inverter company bears have long pointed out that inverters may eventually become commoditized, causing profits to be squeezed. This is exactly what happened to solar panel manufacturers this past decade. But because Enphase and Solar Edge have enjoyed best-in-class patented technologies, they have enjoyed high margins and have been extremely profitable. As we can see from the specs, Enphase and Solar Edge's inverters still have superior efficiency and panel lever monitoring to Tesla's. Although Tesla will surely take some business from them, over the short term, Enphase and Solar Edge are likely to do just fine given their superior specs and the fact that the solar market is set to expand rapidly. But let me be clear, in my opinion, Tesla officially entering the inverter business is quite significant and is not good news for Solar Edge or Enphase. We know Tesla's MO is to ruthlessly drive down costs so that it can sell its products at low prices making them more accessible to more people. If Tesla grabs a big enough inverter market share, this price lowering mentality could help trigger the commoditization of inverters and squeeze the profits of competitors like Solar Edge and Enphase. Also, I will have to keep a close eye on the developments in the virtual power plant and smart home energy management systems landscape. This landscape is ever evolving, and software and artificial intelligence may ultimately decide the winners and losers, much more so than any hardware components. So I will have to keep a close eye on the technological developments in this space, and may have to adjust my portfolio every few years to make sure I'm backing the companies that will be the long-term leaders. Now. I am by no means selling my Solar Edge or Enphase stock right now, as in my opinion the outlook is currently quite bright, and these companies have virtual power plant ambitions of their own. But I think it is certainly wise to take notice of the increased risks and stay at alert and on top of any future trends. Let me know what you think in that comment section below. Is Tesla a serious threat to Enphase and Solar Edge? Which companies do you think will become leaders in the virtual power plant business? And let me know if you have any ideas of what future products Tesla may surprise us with next. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.